Hey folks, Rath coming at you with another video. This time an update on what I've been doing for manual timings for the Forbidden Mist uh, event. So notice right here, I will use Arcadia to help bring down the shield and then Rebecca and Taylor will almost go as often as they have their ultimates up. Dominic, I am either waiting right up until the shield is down or right when it comes down. Notice here that I'm holding Arcadia's ult, again, to help bring down the shield. Rebecca and Taylor go off, and then the moment, or as close as to the moment that I can get to the shield coming down, I'll use Dominic, and I'll try to time Rhaesiris on top of it. The, the one caveat is, if the marker from Dominic is on and everybody's ults are available, I will blast everybody into it to potentially help his explosion. So again, watch. We've Dominic's explosion goes off, and Arcadia could ult right now, but I'm waiting. I'm waiting up until the shield goes up, and I'm using both her and Rhaesiris to help bring it down. The logic here that I've been, I guess, trying to rationalize is the quicker that I can get the shield down, the more hits I can get on the boss effectively. And so while I might be sacrificing some damage from each of them when the shield is down, ultimately we get more Dominic ults off on the boss causing explosion, which is where most of the damage comes from. So let's do it one more time with just keeping the timings in check. So notice Rebecca, the moment that her ult is available, she goes off. Taylor, same thing. Arcadia, I'm holding until the shield comes up. And then Dominic, either right when the shield comes or right before I, uh, I use his ultimate. Rhaesiris, same thing. And so again, I'm holding both, uh, both Dominic's ult and Arcadia's ult until those two parameters are met. And then it's just basically a rinse and repeat cycle. Here near the end, I notice that I'm running out of time. And so at eight seconds or seven seconds, I do use Dom's ult into the shield because I want the explosion to go off before uh, the battle finishes. So right now we've got 65.5 you know, billion in damage, just a 200, 200K short of my max. Wanna switch gears a little bit just to talk about the commander that I have. Uh, nothing from a gear-wise perspective has changed from the rest of the team. You know, we're still using Marauder on Dominic, Marauder on Taylor to help him survive. And then the three hunters either have Unleashed or Gluttony to really help him get up there in the attacks per second realm. But as as you can see here, my, my commander is subpar, I would say suboptimal across across all stages. You know, we've got plus, plus two to Rebecca here. I've been working my ass off to try and get a better one, but no dice. So for folks that do have one, you know, that's got an Arcadia in there, that's got a Rhaesiris, you'll do significantly better. See you guys on the next one.